Okay, welcome to this channel. Today, Yonex Sunrise Singapore has kindly, kindly lent me two of this racket for demo. This is the Nano Flare 800 Pro and the Nano Flare 800 Play, right? But as usual, um, I usually only review professional rackets. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to compare the Nano Flare 800 Pro together with the Nano Flare 800, which is the older version, and the Nano Flare 700. So if you would like me to do a review of the Nano Flare 800 Play, let me know by dropping a comment in the comment section below. So my first impressions of the Nano Flare 800 Pro is that um, I think the colour is really really cool. It has this deep dark green finish. It is a little bit matte on top but there is some like shiny glittery part at the bottom. Actually when I first saw this racket right, the first thought I had is like, oh it will look very nice on a car. <laughs> but yeah, this is a racket and I would like to own a piece of racket like that. Okay. The, the next thing that I noticed very quickly is the wide profile frame which is um, quite new but they have added this feature to the Nanoflare 1000 ZEC, ZEC as well. Right? But if you look at the older series, the 800 did not have that wide profile. In fact, it has a really 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 slim profile. But the Nanoflare 700 already had this wide profile. There are two reasons for this wide profile in the frame. The first reason is for it to give the aerodynamic um, characteristics so that the swing will be faster. And this is in line with what Nanoflare tries to provide its player, which is to provide faster counter attack or counter drives. The other reason is that with this thicker, um, higher profile frame, it's supposed to hold the racket shape better so that it doesn't move or flex so much. The other thing that I did not notice with my eyes but only when I read um, more about this racket, um, I realised that actually they have added one extra string on the cross section and this is supposed to um, lower the interval between each string and again to provide better repulsion. Next, they were also very strategic in placing the high modulus graphite. They specifically put it at the top and the two sides and this is supposed to provide extra drive as well. Finally, they have added copper at the bottom of the racket as well. Right, copper is supposed to be tougher than carbon but for metal, it is still relatively soft. And these characteristics provide a stiffer frame and it provides better drive and counter attack. So the Nano Flash series being hit like, I would think that it will more typically be used um, by the female international players. So right now it's being tested by the Thai women singers Rachanot. To my surprise, even the Malaysian doubles, So we is also testing this racket out. And these are the two players that is currently trying out this new model. Okay, so we're going to measure the statistics uh, for these three rackets. We're going to check the thickness of the shaft, the thickness of the frame, um, the weight, the balance point and the flexibility. And, and we just want to see even in the Nano Flash series, how does, it, how does it compare with each other? Okay, so you know with the new Nano Flash 800 Pro, it has a very 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 thick frame. Right, how does it compare? Now the Nano Flare 800, the older version, has the thinnest frame. Um, according to my measurements, which I've just taken, the bottom for the Nano Flare 800 is at 10.8 mm. Whereas for the Nano Flare 800 Pro, it's at 12.8. The Nano Flare 700 is at 12.7. So the Nano Flare 700 and 800 is actually more similar to each other than the 800 and the 800 Pro. Okay, so in terms of thickness of shaft, the Nano Flare 800 Pro is closer to the Nano Flare 700, right? Because uh, both of them have quite a thick shaft at 10.4 and 10.3. Whereas, whereas the Nano Flare 800 is so slim, it's like 6.7. It's one of the slimmest racket that I've measured. In terms of the, the balance of the racket, Nano Flare 800 Pro is at 30.8, right? That means uh, from the bottom, I measure 30.8. That is the balance of the racket. Again, it is closer to the Nano Flare 700, which is at 30.4, whereas the Nano Flare 800 is 29.6. So right now, in terms of all the features and characteristics, it feels more similar to the Nano Flare 700 than the Nano Flare 800. So what this may mean right, is that if you like using the Nano Flare 800, an upgrade may not exactly mean getting the 800 Pro. However, if you were using the Nano Flare 700, perhaps 
the NanoFlex 800 Pro is actually an upgrade to the NanoFlex 700. In terms of length of shaft, it is pretty similar. Um, the two older rackets are at 21.5, whereas the NanoFlex 800 Pro is at 21.3. Right? And in terms of the length of the racket, it is also very similar at 67.5, 67.6 for the older ones, and a slightly shorter new racket at 67. Now, what's interesting right now to me is the flexibility of the new racket. Now, all your next professional rackets are known to be stiff, right? Because um, the players, the international players are strong and it's um, more suitable for them to be using a stiff racket, right? So the older models are at 10 and 9.9 .9 centimeter displacement, okay? Whereas the new racket is at 9.4 which means that it's actually the stiffest racket compared to the other two. Okay, now how does it translate in the court? When I was trying this racket out in the court, um, I was mostly thinking about the NanoFlare 800 and whether the new 800 Pro is an upgrade. And when I was using the 800, the older racket, I knew that the sweet spot was small, the swing was fast, and it was very good at the front court um, and counter attack. Um, but when I was trying the NanoFlare 800 Pro, it felt too different from the old model. In fact, I find that the sweet spot is much larger. It was so much easier to hit. It was so much closer to the NanoFlare 700 to me. It wasn't difficult to uh, learn to adjust to this racket um, because of the large sweet spot. Um, but it didn't quite provide the power and the drive um, that the 800 had. Having said that, it doesn't mean that this is any weaker. With the new technology in it, it actually really does feel like an improvement. Um, the drive do feel quite solid and quite powerful. Um, it just doesn't feel as compact as the NanoFlare, the old NanoFlare 800. Okay. In terms of the difference, um, in terms of uh, looking at this racket, whether it's more of a speed racket or a power racket, I still think it belongs to the speed category. I think that the double player, the front court double player will still enjoy this racket more than the back court players. Um, it is still a relatively stiff racket. Um, I, with the stiffness, I do feel that it gives a better control or better feeling. And the last thing I want to talk about, which I find that very, very little racket review YouTubers talk about, um, or even uh, anyone, um, I want to talk about how it feels when we make contact with the shutter. And I'm going to just use two different ways to measure this. Now, every time when we make the contact with the shutter, we can feel the impact between the shutter and the strings, and we feel it in our, in our fingers and the pump. Let's call this the vibration that the racket gives us. Now, for some racket, the vibration is very short and sharp. It goes like tung. But there are some racket that the vibration goes a bit longer, like tung. Right? Now, the difference is that I notice that when we use racket with longer vibrations, you tend to get more fatigue. The other measurement about the vibration is how strong that feedback is when the shutter makes contact with the string. There are some racket that you almost don't feel it at all. It's as if you didn't hit anything. Whereas there's some that you really, really feel the full impact of the shutter. Um, actually, I'm leaning towards a stronger uh, vibration, but not so strong and not so long vibration such that it makes me feel fatigued after a while. Okay? So in terms of this 3 racket, where does it stand or how does it compare? When it comes to vibration, um, I think the Nano Flash 700 has the strongest and the longest vibration. Okay? The Nano Flash 800, the older version, has a strong but short vibration. Okay. Whereas the NanoFlex 800 Pro, the newer racket, has a very, very short vibration and also it doesn't give much feedback, which means the vibration is not very strong. So if you like that feeling where you don't really feel the shutter, and even if you feel the shutter, the vibration is short, this racket is for you. Perhaps if you use this racket, you'll feel less tired than the other rackets that gives a stronger vibration. So here's my final thoughts. Right? I must first say what's my bias. I'm a very small player and I don't really have a lot of power in my smashes. 
So I would prefer a racket that provides that power uh, when I smash and I also like the feeling of having a stronger feedback. So to me, this isn't the racket for me. But it could be the racket for you if you like speed play, if you like counter attack, if you like to defend more, if you're playing doubles and you're taking front court. So there's no best racket in the world, right? There's only the best racket for you, whatever is more suitable for you. If you're a front court player and you like to play fast, this is a racket that I would recommend for you to try. Okay? If you have the old Nano Flare 800 and if you're thinking about upgrading, I really don't think it's very, very similar to the old racket. You can give it a try, but what I would really recommend is for the the, the, for the players who had a Nano Flash 700 and if you're thinking of upgrading, I do feel that the new Nano Flash 800 Pro is an upgraded version. I do feel that the, the new Nano Flash 800 Pro is an upgraded version of the Nano Flash 700. Okay? So being true to the series is still a very fast racket to use. Um, I leave it to you to decide whether this is the racket for you. So if this has been helpful for you, I hope that you like, share and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!